Okay, so hi everyone. Welcome to Wednesday Wisdom. We have another special guest with us today. So would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, so my name is David Marsh. I'm the Eastern Midwest sales rep. I cover Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Well, the western part of Tennessee. Okay, well, and what animal are you going to be talking about? So today I'm going to be talking about Egyptian tortoises. I live in Indiana and growing up I had a box turtle and because in the state of Indiana it's illegal to own box turtles because they're native. So I was trying to find another small tortoise or turtle type of animal and I like tortoises so that's what drew me to them is um, Egyptian tortoises only get at max size close to about five inches big and that's the females. The males will only get about three to four inches big. They're easy to house and they're easy to keep. You don't need a lot of room, you don't need a lot of space for them. Unlike some of the bigger tortoises like cicadas that you need almost a full backyard for. They're a pretty rare tortoise, hard to come by. They're almost extinct where they're native from. Um, originally, they're from Egypt and Libya, but now they're really found in parts of Libya. They're more of a desert climate, but they do have a little bit of on the co on the coast side of, of Libya, so they will get some humidity in the mornings too. Honestly, I, I'm a big fan of just keeping things as simple as possible. I'm using one of our 40-gallon front opening tanks and I have I had them on crushed oyster shells and then I have a fogger set up to go off for an hour in the morning I have it set up on one of our timers and the reason I do the fogger is because like I said they are found typically on the coast side of Olivia Olivia and in the mornings um, there's a lot of dew and uh, mist that comes in and then as the day goes on it kind of evaporates and becomes more of the desert type humidity so, so you just turn that on in the morning and then let it dry out throughout the day? Yeah, I just have, oh, I have it set up on one of our timers. So it comes on at seven in the morning and it goes off at eight o'clock in the morning. So it's on for literally an hour. Oh, that's And then cool. that's about it. I, I keep things as simple and as automated as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I have, I'm using one of our power suns to give off heat and UVB. And that kicks on probably about 45 minutes after the um, fogger rolls in to start pulling the, the humidity out of the tank. Um, that gives them an adequate amount of heat and UVB. And what's the general temperature range that you keep them at? So they're they're pretty hardy tortoises, so they can bear a cold temperature um, down in the in the 60s at night. But typically, I like to keep mine. I like to have my gradient temperature from 100 on the hot side down to probably the low to mid 70s on the cool side, and I'll let them kind of figure out where they want to go. Um, so the whole they have a nice gradient level to go or gradient area to go through. Do you have a group of them in? I just have two at the moment and they're they're small, they're babies. They're very hard to find even in captivity for sale. So I was fortunate enough to be able to grab them when I got them. Um, so at the moment, they're not sexable, so I don't okay. know if I have a male or female at the moment. How old are the ones that you have? They're roughly right around eight to nine months old. Okay, yeah. so would you still consider those like hatchlings or? I would, babies or young juveniles maybe, but yeah, and they're not gonna be able to breed for another three to four years. For the most part, what I do is I give them a fresh cut of greens every every morning. Um, that's gonna vary. For, I don't, you don't wanna do like a salad mix. You wanna do like mustard greens, kale, bakoi. But basically you wanna give nice, hearty, healthy greens that are full of nutrition. And then twice a week, I do use our grassland tortoise diet. And I mix that in there about twice a week. And then you want to get a calcium. I use our calcium blocks too, and we'll break that up into small pieces for them. And I'll throw that in there periodically. Um, I also I will give them like a dessert every once in a while, like a, a cactus pad. Or... They are fun little animals. They will. They kind of develop a personality, kind of like what you would find like in a dog or a cat. Where they'll come to you when you got. When they see you walking towards the tank. They'll start coming out and coming to you. The more you they get used to you. So cool. Um, if anyone has any questions for David, um, this isn't live, so just put them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thank you.